So if I'm in a survival situation and my box match is wet, all I have is dry matches, I would grab a window, find a window and put my finger like that and strike it as soon as possible. Boom! And it strikes. And this is normal matches. You see it strike on box matches. I'm gonna take one out and then I'm gonna grab it like that with my finger and put it on the head like that and boom! That easy. Again, this is how I do it. I grab it like that and a third finger like this. And just put it, my fingers on the wall like this and like strike it. Let's check it out. You gotta strike it fast. You see, sometimes it even can break. Boom. You wanna grab the piece of napkin by the end and start twisting it. Then we're gonna get that cheese out of the wax we can even open it and stuff and then we're gonna wrap it around the wax over the napkin now we're gonna put it kinda on a plate or something one here there's another one I made one right here now let's try to light it and see if it works or not There's one, and there's two. And it works awesome. All you need is a piece of cheese with the wax on. And one little cheese like that will make you a candle for a while. How awesome is that? As you can see, I got a pound of potassium permanganate. I don't need, I'm going to be using only a little bit and glycerin. So let's check it out. First, I'm going to put some potassium permanganate. In this on the back of a can then I'm gonna make a little dent in there and I'm gonna grab glycerin and put glycerin in there something like that and we're gonna wait a minute and we'll see what happens So as you can see, we're going to need a bread maker container and then we're going to need four candles as long as they can feed into the bread maker, this is perfect. So next what we're going to do is light the candles up, then we're going to put a small pot like this, then we're going to grab a bigger pot, flower pot, and it's a ceramic pot, it can withstand a lot of heat and put it over and then we're going to grab some kind of metal pot and close out this hole right here just to keep them even harder and then we're gonna grab this ceramic pot and put this one over the top you don't have to block the holes but it's kinda nice so how does it work? ceramic pots can withstand a lot of heat and does not break and all the candles, only four candles actually produce a lot of heat but we capture this heat inside of the three pots it will be really warm. Try it yourself and let me know what you think. And if you ended up in a survival situation in the winter time, you can heat up your house or your place like that easily. Or just heat up your house if you don't have any electricity and your house is really cold. Or like Hi, if your lights went out and you need emergency candle and you like Brazil land peanuts, I can make a candle out of this or you can make it because that's really easy. So let's see what we're going to do. So all we need is a Brazilian peanut and we're just going to light up the corner. They are very fresh, I have, they're not cooked or anything so you need the fresh ones. And you just light up the end of the peanut and guess what, they're going to burn for a while. And they don't smell even bad. And to make them um, uh, be able to place them, just cut the bottom of the peanut so you can just place them down. 
and on any surface and they just gonna stand as a candle you know what I mean very cool huh I think the oil of the peanut is just co goes up of the to the top and burning that's why it doesn't burn that fast and takes a while to we're make gonna do a rocket stove all we need is four cylinder blocks we're gonna set one like that Then we're gonna grab this one, set it down here. For one brick, we need to break this part off. So we would set it up on a stove. All you have to do is stand like that and smack it one time here. Or two times. Or three times. So flip it over. Smack it here. And as you can see, you got perfect side right here. And on top like that. Yep. Okay. That's it. We're gonna put firewood over here. And it's gonna burn from here. Oxygen gonna suck in from here. And fire comes out from here. That's why it's called rocket stove. Alright, as you can see, all the wood is over there and fire coming up from over here and we're gonna put our pot on top and boil it and as you can see it boils now so in emergency situation you required light to fix your car or something and you don't have any light all you have is tuna, matches, some kind of thread and some kind of sharp tool lighting a match for light is very insufficient because it will burn out quickly how can we make a candle out of a tuna? Simple, all you have to do is make a hole, put cotton thread to it and light it up and it will burn for a long time. What kind of tuna cans do we need? You see, it's a tuna in oil. This kind of vegetable oil or olive oil will work. But if it's tuna in water, it's not going to work. We need a tuna in oil. So very important, where to look for tuna in oil? It should be saying here or on the side over here but you see it says in water over here and oil over here easy to find but this is very important because in water it will not work so we're gonna make a hole with the knife very simple put the thread through and push it through as much as you can once the oil come out of the can a little bit kind of rub it in this thread inside in the oil then just cut the rest and it's ready to be lit. And we got a tuna oil candle. And it's actually cool because it's even a flex from here, makes even more light. How does pretty much you're gonna make a flame inside of it and cook on top of it, just like that. Very simple. So let's get to it. So all we did is chop the wood just like that, and we pretty much gonna take couple pieces out let's let's take this two out so you guys can see and then we got uh, and then we got like dry and then we got dry leaves or shut up and then we got dry leaves or like dry grass grass or anything and for the fire starter small twigs okay next we're gonna light it up and put these logs back together Alright guys, after the small twigs are on fire, the log will catch on and it's gonna burn from inside out and like fire from the top. Charles, you wanna help me out and put, how do we cook on it? Well, this is just a half inch of, of dirty water just to see how long it would take to get it to boil. Yep. Alright, as you can see, we're using this log as a stove. It's actually burning from inside out and it's gonna burn boil this water in minutes you know we have a little bit of twigs from inside to start this fire but after a little bit this big log is gonna start build on fire and oxygen will come from here and fire gonna go from the top and it looks like a stove just exactly like oops that's the that. handle on that's broken 
yeah just check it out look it looks like a stove five come from the over there we put it, our cooking supplies on top whatever all right guys five minutes later check it out full boiling so what you want to do is grab it like this and squeeze it in the middle and like sque keep squeezing it like to the corners as much as you can as you can see it's like just like this maybe just hold it with one hand and push it with your thumb as much as you can and once you got it like that what you want to do put your hand like right here and like here and squeeze it, push it in as much as you can as you can see we're gonna get this breaking points right here I'm gonna squeeze it a little bit more Let's see if I can as much as you can so it's gonna look like this you see it this is the easiest breaking points what we're gonna do turn it over and do the same maybe put it like that in your hand lock it in and push your finger into it as much as you can so now we're just gonna push it together just wow, like that there it comes and then turn it over Ooh. and do the same thing here kind of squirting me a little bit <laughs> <laughs> that's what she said oh then we're gonna turn it over and do the same boom <laughs> then turn it over and do the same to the point <laughs> where you're just gonna be able to do it what do you got in your shirt there for you <laughs> what kind of can is that i don't even know Maybe like diced tomatoes. Oh man, this is nasty. Oh, oh, is that spinach? Uh, there, this is spinach. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I'm gonna prove it to you guys that you can open it. You're proving it. Oh, I just got smart and went sp uh, spinach juice. <laughs> Look at my glasses. <laughs> hey. Dude, the camera is soaked. <laughs> but if you need to survive and open it, I'm oh, gonna man. show you that it's possible. Let's wipe off that camera. Let's do it. Come on. Dude, you think it's the first time that camera has been soaked? Oh yeah, I'm sure it has. Film it? That's what she said. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, of course... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, here, let's get a close-up on that. You want to continue on this thing. Just <laughs> <laughs> up and down. Well, I think the best if you get the can without this kind of juice, but you want to keep squishing it like that, up and down. And as you can see, the metal is breaking. <laughs> then you want to do this kind of motion. And guess what? Oh my gosh, that's pretty. <laughs> I just that. open. Hold on, let's, get a, let's see that. And I just open. <laughs> Oh, that a looks, can of that, spinach. That looks delicious. <laughs> Look yeah, but I don't care how dirty I am. In a survival situation, I probably will be dirty anyways. 